Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to New York for another quick hitter edition, talking about a promotion. This isn't necessarily, I mean, it's breaking news, but it's not necessarily something that just happened recently. Uh, I'm being told that uh, the Gambino underboss for the last three to four years has been Lenny Di Maria, the conductor, uh, one of the most you know well-respected, beloved gentlemen, gangsters, uh, that there is in not just New York City, but probably across the whole country, super connected, known as a peacemaker, 82 years old. There was talk that he might have been acting underboss for a short period in the 2000s, but that was never confirmed. So I'm, I'm going to say this is his first time, at least officially, uh, in an administrative post. Um, goes back to the Gotti era. They call him a conductor because he was a... Uh, railway conductor. Um, early in his life, he was somebody that uh, worked in both uh, on Long Island and in New York City for the railways, uh, became a capo under Paul Castellano, and, um, you know, has, has been a guy with a, a ton of juice ever since. Um, and now, over the last handful of years, I'm told he's Lorenzo Menino's, you know, go-to, uh, number two, uh, Mickey Boy is still the, the consigliere at Italian Dom. Shuffaloo is obviously still the uh, official godfather, but right now it's really uh, Lenny and Lorenzo, or Lorenzo and Lenny, running the Gambino crime family, uh, taking meetings uh, across, you know, across the East Coast. I've been told that uh, Lenny has accompanied Lorenzo on meetings, not just in all five boroughs, uh, but in Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, um, Providence, and some other places. So uh, Boston and, and so forth. Uh, you know, these are the top guys. You know, uh, the Genovese and the Gambinos, this is the, the elite of the elite. Um, and Lenny Di Maria is a guy that, you know, in a lot of other situations probably would already be in the administration by now uh, for somebody that, you know, are, had already reached the administration. Uh, by this point in his career, but he, he's a spry 82. Um, you know, there's rumors that because of all the stuff with the, in the construction industry, uh, all those probes of uh, Frankie Calypso Camuso under indictment right now, uh, there's talk that this might eventually bite Lorenzo. And I'm told that although Lenny Di Maria by no means is a long-term solution if Lorenzo gets locked up, but uh, would probably be the uh, the bridge guy, the, the stopgap guy uh, uh, that that takes uh, that acting boss role or street boss role uh, from an OG down to. I'm guessing Andy Campos is is probably the guy that would be leading this family in the next you know ten years from now. So. Uh, you know, we'll see. But uh, Lenny is a, a Brooklyn guy. He's had rackets in Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, South Florida, very close to little Nicky Carozo. Again, a guy, uh, you know, big time heavyweight in the Gambinos for what seems like forever. And uh, over the last three, four years since the death of John Gambino, um, he's the number two guy. So that's what I'm reporting here at the OG. Check back uh, always for the latest breaking news when it comes to organized crime across the country. And please, in North America, I should say, and please like, subscribe, and share uh, the word about the OG. We love, bringing to, uh, we love bringing this type of news to you, so we're going to keep doing it 24-7, baby. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. <laughs>